Did anybody else have lightning bolts or lightning? Oh, she. Oh, she did. Uh, in her arm. Uh, Imogen. 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 Timbolts. Imagine that. <laughs> that was pretty good. You had. It was good, right? Okay. It wasn't good. Good. I for thought it what? was good. Good in what? It was way? a funny. Oh, as in a joke? Yeah, yeah. it's really good. We have to explain the joke. Oh God. Imogen. Midget. Imogen. 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 Thank you. We just said this name. You made a joke about it. <gasps> you admit it was a joke. Thanks. <laughs> I knew you'd come around. This is like whenever end users use a word, so then they and then you repeat the word so that they understand you, but it's not the right word. But since you've repeated it, they think it's the right word. <laughs> like no, I'm, I'm so repeating. I'm did. repeating the word you thought it was. Yeah, I'm glad that you could come on board with what it was called. <laughs> <laughs> no. I have no D and D this week either, so I have maximum amount of weekend ahead of me. That's pretty exciting. Like, I... I'm excited for it. I know whenever I say all that shit, like, people are like, oh, she must hate people. She plays me no. and, like, spending time with people. Why like, would, it's not... They don't know you, though. But, like, sometimes I just want a weekend of myself to right. not exist. And I get that this weekend, and I'm excited. That's okay. It's been a while. It's been a while. Do I you would... understand that ever... That lots of people like weekends to themselves, and... I know, but, like, there's always this... Not have to be responsible. This, every time whenever I say it, like, I'm enjoying... Like looking forward to like being by myself. People always take it as like a who? I don't know anybody I'm talking to. Not you, obviously, because you're my mother. But just like people are like, oh, she must not like hanging out with people. Do they think that, or are you perceiving that they think that? No, people comment on it. Really? I think everybody, but well, that's just rude on them because they don't know you. Well, no, they don't know me because I don't allow them to know me because I don't like. Don't listen to people like that. I I tend to put on, like, so if I don't like you, right, you don't know the real me. I give you a personality of me, right, and that's what you get. Yeah. It's not the real me. It's the version of me that I find you will be the most accepting of. And can I tell you, it's very frustrating because sometimes people think that you're a certain way, and I'm like, she's nothing like that. It's just easier that way. Like, if you have decided that I'm away, then I will just be that way because I don't give a shit about it's you. It's frustrating. Uh-huh. Maybe just they be should be yourself. I don't want to be myself. You don't need to be. But the thing is, is you. like I'm not going to give myself to people who I don't like or have the time for. So if you have decided I'm a certain way, and I'm not willing to correct you because I don't care enough about your opinion to correct you or you as a human to correct you, then you'll get what you asked for, and that's it. <laughs> Nothing more. You will not get the real okay. version of me because you don't deserve that honor. You know what I mean? I, I understand. Because the real you is pretty cool. She's very talented. I don't know about that. You are. Okay. Just trust me. <laughs> well, you are a little biased, so I don't know. I'm a lot biased, let's be honest. But it's that's okay. okay. I'm supposed to be. Well, as long as you say it's okay. This is the very first piece I picked up and said, hmm, what is that? Can't find it. It is put not it the down. very first piece. Oh, that you put down. I understand. <laughs> You've said that several times already. I thought it was funny because I picked it back up. Oh, I hate those pieces that torment you. Yeah. The picking them up over and over again. Sorry, it didn't really hurt me, but... It hurt your feelings? It hurt the piece, I thought, so I was letting the pieces of emotions be felt. Oh, I hate letting the <laughs> objects. Emotions. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. You fit so well in there, but I don't think you go in there. The other day, I turned on Gma and Kyoko were streaming at the same time. Oh! I turned on their streams, and then, like, I had muted them because I was editing a video. And I was like, oh, whenever I get done with this, I can finish watching that. I forgot they were up. Oh! <laughs> and, like, went and took a nap and came back. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I was like, oh, well, oops. Okay, whatever. It's funny. been on twitch much this week i was gonna say i haven't been on twitch at all um i uh it was a rough week but 
I got through it. It's all good. Your dad was sick this morning. I got up and I could barely walk. Yes. And he was like, so you gonna go puzzle? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, and uh, cause I was telling him it hurts to sit, it hurts to walk, it hurts to lay. It just, my body just really hurts right now. And it's just, it's part of MS. It's just yeah. a daily thing. I just hurt. And uh, he goes, so it hurts to sit? I said, yep. And he goes, and you're going to go puzzle? Said, yep. <laughs> well, I mean, you're going to be sitting all day anyway. Might as well enjoy it. So, but I, yeah. you already know that you can cancel it every time. I you literally no, not hurt I'm my not feelings. Because this gives me joy. I know. And but that's I'm what I'm just, saying. It's like, if you're going to sit all day, you might as well do something you exactly. enjoy doing. That's what I thought. Might as well get something out of it. Yeah, it's been a pretty exceptional week in the most boring way possible. Hmm. Just a lot of work. You know? I snagged one of the chocolate donuts this week before JD could open a box. <laughs> last week he ate my chocolate donut. Yeah, there was only one last week. Um, yeah. Oh. Which was fine. I kind of figured if I left it there, there was like a 90% chance he would take it. I bitched about it later, so... Oh. <laughs> And you took the last, the only donut. <laughs> I mean, you gotta know the consequences of taking yeah, the chocolate donut. Exactly. Yeah. Thinks you can just get away with it. There's always consequences to everything. Especially if you live with me. <laughs> you should have known better. I also ate one of, or a couple of his Snickers ice cream bars. Haha. <laughs> I mean, I paid for them, right? I was gonna say, so what do you get that's special every week? Great value ice cream. What? Ew. I need to stop whenever he goes. Blue Bell. Anything other than great value. Yeah, great value is the like, worst. Like, he'll get himself Snickers ice cream bars and gets me great value. He's like, well, I got Ew. you something too. I was like, gee, thanks. That's not getting you something. That's being mean. <laughs> thanks for being an asshole. Exactly. No, but. No, yeah, I need to, like. Pay attention to what he gets, so I can go in there and not waste my money on great value ice cream. Yeah, because that is a waste. I, it's it's like, terrible. If I'm gonna spend money on ice cream, which I shouldn't do, because I don't need ice cream, it just it makes me sick half the time anyway. Uh -huh, but if I'm gonna spend money on, I might as well get something good. I have half a face. You do? I didn't realize Who's it. Face? Uh, it's it's Ashton's. Yeah. Who's Ashton? Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm working on. I was trying to get this little curve piece, and I think I've got part of it. I think I I had just was looking at it with you. Oh yeah. I just have some. I don't edges. know if that is or not, but it kind of looks like that. Whatever that thing is in his head. It's a crystal. It's a crystal. So he's made of stone. Okay. He comes from the elemental plane of stone. Okay. Um, but his head got cracked open, and there's like this glowing thing where you can see into his brain. It's like it's not his brain, like brain brain, but it's like a crystal ball essentially. And sometimes it sparks. Sometimes you can see little hymns in there. Hymns? Yeah. From oh, his nice. memories. Okay. He has um. His character has chronic pain. Oh. So any, <laughs> anytime somebody touches him and it actually is painful, mm -hmm. he's a cool character. So he channels all that constant physical pain into rage and oh. kills monsters. Okay. It's pretty great. Um, that sounds like a bad way to deal with your pain, but okay. Well, he doesn't deal with it in a healthy way. I didn't right. say that. <laughs> he's the first to admit it. He doesn't do it in a healthy okay. way. But it's so funny because, like, he's this angry ball of fury, right? But he is, like, the first, like, the most caring. The first one to, like, stand up for somebody. And, like, the first one to be, like, gives advice of, like, hey, don't, don't be so mean to yourself. It's like, you are the... <laughs> Stop it. You're such a hypocrite. That's so funny. He's a good okay, character. That's I love all of Talos's Tal Tal characters, though. They're all just well-made. 
Yeah, I was wondering because I was like, what is this? It's not I a know. box. <laughs> I was like, what? What? I think Why? it's the monkey's tail. There's a monkey. Oh, on yeah, shoulder. I see it. Okay. His monkey name is. Back. Monkey on her back. This is monkey's tail. I don't know. It's funny because, like, she always go, I have a son, and everybody in the group's like, what? <laughs> and then it's her monkey. Ow. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, right, gosh. right, we forget about the <laughs> <laughs> The first time she did it, like, Laura just looked at her like, what the fuck, you've been keeping a son from us? <laughs> anyway, the reason why the notification oh. for today was It's Thursday Night is because that's the song, the, the opening song for Dirt the Wall. Oh, really? Yeah. So, I was like, if people know, they'll know. If they don't, then they, know. <laughs> they don't understand It's Friday me. night. No, it's Thursday. And I'm feeling right. That's not the song. I think that's the robot. That's the robot. He's over FCG. here. FCG. By the end of the puzzle, I will have all our names. No, you won't. I know. Name the other characters from the last puzzles. Mian? No. From the wait, from the last puzzle? Yeah. That was like a year two ago. years ago. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's like ten years ago. <laughs> I mean, with our memories, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just talk about these characters all the time. So. Yes, you do. I mean, no, you don't. <laughs> Mom will know Harry Potter's name, but not even a single member of Critical Role. There's like so many to choose from. I'm a fake fan. What can I say? <laughs> That's a joke at work. Where all like I've always been trying to get people at work to watch Critical Role, right? Yeah. And. Like, one of the girls, she, she'll watch it every once in a while, but like, she has kids, you know, she can't keep up with it. So I just call them fake fans. <laughs> they say they're gonna watch it, and they never do. Yeah, well, you know. Nobody's just, there's nobody in the world as committed to me as to something, you know what I mean? Like, it's just so hard to find people as committed to a passion as me. You are correct. I just don't understand. You are correct again. <laughs> you do not and that's okay we so, love you for I, it I try so hard to make other people's lives so much better by bringing in oh. joyous things oh. and they just can't accept happiness oh. because yeah. instead they would rather be unhappy in their life of not knowing critical role you know? we're living in our fictional world now or well, are you going to come back I'm to reality soon how it is. Like, your life would be so much better with critical role as is mine oh but you refuse to come to the light and see oh, okay. the joy that it brings everybody who okay. watches it. Okay. The community, the passion, the dedication. <laughs> Yet they'll watch hundreds the of hours of stupid movies. The why cult. do Why do I need to see what was the movie they brought up yesterday? Uh, Guardian. No. <laughs> Deadpool? Guide to... What's the name of that stupid movie? It's where 42 is the number of... Uh, Something's Guide to the Galaxy. What is it called? You know what I'm talking about. I do. Right? <laughs> Guardians. Is it Guardians Guide to the Galaxy? Is that right? Yeah. I guess... Guardians... That just sounds wrong. I don't know why. Guardian... What is it? Called. Anyway, I haven't seen Guardians that Guide to the. That doesn't sound right. I because that sounds is. like the Marvel movie. You know what I'm saying? It is. No, no, not the Marvel movie. I'm talking about the the other one, the the old like '90s movie. Guardians of the Galaxy. That's no, what I was that's thinking. Marvel. Yeah. No, something. Guide to the Galaxy. Okay, I will look it up. Guide to the Galaxy. I think something's. Oh, I put two T's. The Galaxy. Google doesn't need to read it. Guide to the Galaxy movie. Is that what it's called? The Hitchhiker's Guide. That's what it's called. I was like, there's a very important <laughs> word we're missing, and I don't remember what the important word is. Hitchhiker's Guide to the yes. Galaxy. No, I yes. yes. I don't. I haven't seen that. I have the book too, and I've seen lots of clips of it. And every time, that's like the one that I'm actually sad about. Like, I'm not sad about not seeing Rocky or Star Wars. I don't give a shit about those. But Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy actually is very, like, 
something that I've always been like, I really should watch that. Like, Why? I don't know. Man. Okay. Sitting down and watching a movie is like a whole process for me. No, I'm saying, I have to be like, why do you think you have, you really should watch that? I've, because it looks really good. It looks like something I'd really enjoy. And there's a lot of like, um, uh, like references, references to it in like all of the media I consume. So I would just get more out of it, you know? Oh, you think you would. Yeah. No, I mean, I just, it's like one of those things. Like, you would enjoy Super Who Lock more if you watched okay. Doctor Who, Supernatural, and Sherlock, instead of just one of the three or whatever. Mm. I asked my coworkers this week if they knew who H.P. Lovecraft was, and the two that are closer to your age did not. And Thank you. my coworker and I, my millennial coworker, looked at me and then looked at them like, what the fuck? I was like, thank you! <laughs> I'm losing my goddamn mind! <laughs> so apparently it's an age gap Yeah, it must thing. be. It's a millennial thing yeah. to know. Because it is, it's built into, like, there's a lot of references to Lovecraftian and stuff in, like, <laughs> video games. Oh. And, like, Supernatural. Okay. And Doctor Who, there's a lot I of I watched Doctor Who. No, no, New Age Doctor Who. The original Who. Doctor Who. Yeah, because, you know, that came out a long time ago. But, I mean, like, <laughs> modern day Doctor Who, you know what I mean, has a lot of references to it. I like how gently you put that. Well, you're old, man. I can't help it. Oh, Lord. You were born in the 1900s. FCG's becoming a baker. He can't taste anything, but... Who what? The robot, oh. FCG. He's fresh becoming a baker? Fresh cut grass. But he's he also, can't taste anything, but he's sure a baker. He but he's actually a good baker, which is surprising to Interesting. Everybody. Interesting. He does it so he can heal his friends. Oh, well that's he nice. He makes pastries that heal them. Okay, that's just nice. He's, a, he's like the therapist of the group. The therapy bot. He just got an upgrade to legs. Nice. Because he's had a wheel forever. I think he has legs. Or like a... I don't know, something, some kind of book like that. Because I was going to try and put my head together. It's not as easy as I thought. Pretty messed up head, I'll tell you that. It is. I don't know which one you're talking about, but it oh. applies to both. <laughs> one of them died a couple of times, the other one can read other people's brains and doesn't Ew. have control over it. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. She recently got a circlet that lets her block other people's thoughts so she can finally have quiet in her brain for the first time in her life. Oof. Yeah. So, like, she always wanted to avoid very crowded areas because there's just constant stream of people's thoughts in her brain. Right. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, when she per first put it on, it was just, like, a huge sigh of relief because it was, like, quiet for the first time in her life. I can understand that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of people can relate to that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, our meeting, when we were all sitting around before our meeting this week um, with the department. Yeah. Um, my old boss said something about, like, he's like, oh, whenever you buy a book, you should get a digital copy of it. And this is something I've thought about for, like, decades, right? Right. Ever since digital books became a thing, I've been thinking about this, right? So, like, I went on about, I was like, oh, yeah, like, it's, I've always thought of, it's like a really hard system when you really think about it because whenever you get a digital copy, you're still getting the full experience of like a physical copy almost, except that you don't have something physical to hold, so like, but it would be really interesting if like you buy a book, then you could scan a QR code and get a digital copy of the physical, right. or a digital copy of what you just bought physically, mm -hmm. um, and that doesn't play into the cost too much because whenever you have a book, even through like a publishing that I use, which is a very light uh, agreement to publishing right like on Amazon that my book is like $15 something like that but I only make like three or four dollars off of that right so that's like a good chunk but not like as much as like traditional publisher you probably that would even let you have so whenever you take into consideration that the whenever I get to have a digital book that was bought at three dollars I still make like a dollar off of that so that margin is much higher right so and honestly, you're taking revenue away from authors whenever you get free copies of the book. Right. Even You have to pay for a physical copy and then you pay for a digital copy, so now you've paid $20 for that book. 
but they've made five dollars in revenue so whenever you also get an audible copy of that book you're paying another couple of dollars and they make money off of that as well right and he's like his response to my whole rant about this thing that i've thought about a lot because we were just all talking he goes wow you can really tell when somebody's passionate about it by how few breaths they take in between stuff and i was just like what a jerk all right <laughs> wow I was like, okay, I thought we were having a discussion, but okay. <laughs> I was like, well, okay. We brought it up, but okay. Okay. I thought it was a pretty good idea, I though. Effectively that... ending that whole conversation. Because yeah. I thought, I was like, oh, this is something we could have a discussion right. about and have a topic to talk about. Nope. Nope. I was like, okay. Glad I said all of that interesting stuff that I've spent my whole life thinking about. <laughs> But that is pretty interesting if you had I mean, you have to some think of kind that. of code or something that you could scan. Yeah, the only thing I have with that is like, so I've been thinking about that from an IT perspective. It would be really cool to have an app that you have like something whenever you buy the book, you get like something on the thing. <laughs> but it would have to have a way to scan the receipt because you know whenever you buy books new, like you're paying the full price, but you might buy that book used, in which case the author's not getting any money true, from that. True. So it would need to be one time code that you only get, and you would have to be able to scan your receipt because there's a really, if you're like in the bookstore, right, you can flip through books. So you could scan that code oh. and get free books. So it would It'd have only to, be with the original. It would have to be something that receipt. you get out of the register so okay. that you could minimize the, um, like abuse of that right because like people who work at the bookstore would probably still abuse yes. it unfortunately yes, they would. but if it's a one-time use code then you would know that they abuse that because you only have so many codes per Purple. per like copies of books so if you have less codes than you have books you know your employees are using it ah Capitalism that's being. smart yeah. that's actually a smart way of i know i've been <laughs> keeping track of it though okay this you is something that i've literally been thinking about for over here and I've okay. seen both sides of it. I've seen the IT side of it. I'm, I have a very unique perspective in my mind. You do. Because I, ha I know the IT slash app creation of it. Right. And, like, the security side of it. And the author side of it. Right. And the publisher side of it. Because I've published a book and I work in IT. <laughs> which I think is more unique than, like, most people in publishing. Thank you for th finding it interesting and not just shutting it down. No, I agree it's with you though. Fun. It it would be kind of, kind of neat if they so could come up with a way to do that, and that's something that you could make money off of. You put it like that. You could if you came up with the system that did that. Which well, it's just now it's all even out there. honestly. If like I scanned like the the uh, code on the back of my book and it gave me like options to buy the digital copy because like I what I generally do is I have I buy the digital copy of a book and then read it on my phone because it's just easier on my wrist because I have weak arms and I can't hold books anymore because I've let my arms get so flabby. Um, <laughs> but like if I could just like. Because I always buy the digital copy, and then if I really like it and I read it a five star above, that's where I've set my limit. Right. Like, I can buy a physical copy right. of the book. So I'm constantly paying for two copies of books. And then, like, Audible books would be really nice, but I don't want to pay for a third copy of a book. Yes. You know, like, I've already spent so much money on your book. But again, and... that's how they get more money out of you, is because you're and buying I, all I, three. And I totally get that. If that money went straight to the authors only, right. fine. Yeah. But a huge portion of that goes to the publishers right. and that's whenever i kind of get upset about it because it's like no we should be putting more pushback on publishers to not take such a high percentage of a work they barely even did anything on all they say is yes we'll sell that for you and like yeah they have to do the material cost of printing it but like right the majority of their sales come from digital which costs like nothing <laughs> upkeep on servers is nothing digital no because it's basically uploading the book onto the system but well, because you're already typing it out on a computer right well yeah i mean most yeah. writers now type it up on a computer mm -hmm. not a typewriter right i mean even then you would just scan it in right right like, it's not so that i mean it really isn't that expensive to put it you know no i mean the only, the only reason companies say that is because they want to squeeze out more costs right as somebody who runs the servers and maintains the servers it's not that I mean, yes, there's some overhead because you have to keep somebody in charge, but let me tell you, giant companies can have one person in charge of all the servers. 
Well, they don't pay that staff enough either, I can guarantee you that. Dude, stop. Can you stop, please? Not you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening, though. <laughs> When your mom tells you to stop at your grown ass adult. <laughs> I could say that moms always keep their mom voice. My mother stopped me and my two brothers in our tracks mid sentence and she wasn't even talking to us. <laughs> yep. We all three stopped and looked at her like, what did we do? And then we all four started cracking up because she still had that hold on us. <laughs> Even in our... Okay, I was late 40s. They were 50s. I was late 40s. I was not in my 50s. Yet. You are now. I am for sure now. I got this little gym done. There's no gym in Critical Role. Whatever the thing is around his head. I'm just kidding. Okay. Say, like, Jim the name, you know? Uh, ha, 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 ha. It was a joke. <laughs> See how it's not funny? Like it's... I don't know what you're saying. I don't understand. That's mom. I want there to be a classic, Kelsey. There is. There is. Every time I meet you, huh? Really? Oh, you see it all the time. I don't say classic. I don't know, but in other words. Oh. Okay. I don't know. Nobody's stopping you, bro. Bro. You're stop you stop me from a lot of things. <laughs> You're a grown ass adult. From having a know? waistline. Okay. <laughs> Remember that whole shoes? Nope. Don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Classic. Oh, I mean, classic again. Yeah. Dang it. Ignore your problems, blame other people, just like you always do. Oh no, you're supposed to blame your kids for certain things. It's just a must. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not it a speaker. Is. I was forced into this life I against know. my will. We've been really bad about eating, you know? Yeah. It's supposed to be bringing donuts. Yeah. It's too much. It's not too much. It's more, I guess, more filling. I don't know. I don't know, too man. Much. What time is it? It's only I, noon. No, 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 no. I know. I wasn't saying I was hungry. I'm just saying we've been really bad. It just popped in my head, so I said it out loud. I mean, that's what you do? It's a podcast. Oh. Right. We're supposed to be talking. We're so bad about that. <laughs> I don't know. We're not that bad. We talk a lot, actually. It's just I don't think we space it out as much as we probably should, but like, fuck off. Who cares? It's our podcast. We space it how we want. And we do. Space, space. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I need to be rude. I can be rude if I want. And you do want a lot.